Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. The picture books that I've been sharing for different subject areas have been really popular, so I wanna keep going with those. And so today, we're gonna to jump into a science topic that can be a little tricky for kids. We're gonna be talking about states of matter. Now this is a really cool science topic, but it can be a little challenging for students to really comprehend and figure out. But by using picture books, we can help really spark curiosity about the topic as well as introduce those vocabulary words that they're gonna hear over and over again. By seeing them in a picture book first or hearing them read aloud, it helps really cement that idea in their heads and help bring it to life for them. It makes it relatable. It makes the topic of states of matter or any science topic on their level. It takes that big thing and brings it down to something that they can understand. And it also kind of gives them a reason for why they're learning about it. How they'll see these things out in the real world in real life. So as you can see, I think picture books are a great way to introduce science topics. So today we have a whole collection of books to be talking about states of matter. And make sure you stick around to the very end because I'll be saving my favorite one for last and it's perfect for this time of year. This episode is coming out in the middle of winter, so the last book I have is perfect for winter. Let's dive into those books. The first one I have is super basic, so it'd be perfect for younger students. This one is called Solid or Liquid and it's by Amy Hansen. And it's, again, very basic. I think there's one sentence on each page. It just gives those terms, those science terms of solid and liquid and what they mean. It also gives examples of solids or liquids. So this is kind of a good place to start. Even if you are introducing it to older kids, it gives those concrete examples for them. So solid or liquid be a good quick read aloud when you are beginning your science lessons on states of matter. This next one is called Many Kinds of Matter, and this one is by Jennifer Boothroyd. Now, this one is really going to start sparking that curiosity with your students. Ice cubes clink in a glass. Steam rises from a pot of boiling water. Solids, liquids, and gases are all around you. But what exactly are solids, liquids, and gases? And how do you tell them apart? That's where this book comes into play. Your students will learn what exactly each of these three states of matter are and examples of each one. So this is another great picture book read aloud for states of matter. Okay, so now you're looking to dive a little bit deeper into the topic of states of matter. And this next one is another great one. It, again, gets on students level, but it's going to give a little bit more information than the last two books that I shared. This one is called, What is the World Made Of? all about solids, liquids, and gases. And this one is by Kathleen Zofield. This book is part of the Let's Read and Find Out series. So this one is a longer book than the last two that I shared and dives more into what each of these three states of matter are, examples of each, and why they occur, and how these states of matters can change. It gives a lot of real world examples. There's lots of illustrations in this nonfiction book of students uh, manipulating different objects and trying to discover if they are solid, a liquid, or a gas. And I feel like this will answer quite a few of your students' questions about what the three states of matter are. So this is a great one to share with them. And it even poses questions for them to answer, like how can you make an ice cube disappear? Take that ice cube, you put it on a hot sidewalk, it melts into a puddle, and then that puddle evaporates into steam in the air. So it really will get your students thinking, add on to that curiosity, and what's really neat is in the back of the book, it gives lots of different experiments that you can try with your students to really bring this concept to life for them. And again, spark that curiosity and get them really interested in this topic. And speaking of different types of experiments, this next one, What's the Matter in Mr. Whisker's Room by Michael Ross, also has lots of different types of experiments for students. This one is a longer book. Um, I don't know that I would read it all in one setting. It is broken up into different sections, so you can definitely, there's definitely space for it to be broken up and you can read it on different days with your students. But again, dives even deeper into the states of matter 
what each one is and it's really neat because it's taking place in the classroom and this teacher has set out different stations for the students to learn about the different states of matter and what's fun is you can then do those different stations with your students in the back of the book it gives all of the experiments that they do and how you can do it in your classroom so if you're looking for ideas this one has some great ones in it but even if you don't do the experiments you can read this aloud with your class and walk through those experiments with your class and talk to them about those different states of matter. How can we create liquid? How can we turn a liquid into a solid? All those different ideas and really will engage your students in learning about this topic. And uh, Mr. Whiskers actually reminds me a little bit of Miss Frizzle and that he gets that gleam in his eye when he's really excited about a science topic. And he uses, he encourages his students to use all of their senses and hands-on experiments to make the science come to life. Now, it's not as wild as Miss Frizzle's school bus rides, but it's one that your students will connect to. They'll see the students doing experiments in the book and they'll want to do them either with you in class or at home with their families. Another great book to use when learning about states of matter in the classroom. And now the last one, I told you this one was my favorite because it doesn't talk about states of matter in a nonfiction way. It takes it into a fun fiction picture book read aloud that you could read any time of the year, even when you're not discussing states of matter, but students will be able to take their knowledge of solids, liquids, and gases and see how they appear in this book. And I was so excited about this one. So in the Colorful Apple Book Club, you can grab a read aloud lesson to go with this book all about the states of matter. So it's all done for you to go along with Sneezy and the Snowman by Maureen Wright. I'm sure many of you are well acquainted with this book. It is such a fun one to read, especially in the winter time when your students are getting so excited about snow. I don't know if you can see out my window. We had a snowstorm yesterday and my kids were outside all day long playing in the snow. But in this story, the kids build a snowman and his name is Sneezy. And he is sneezing because he is cold, cold, cold. So he tries to think of some ways to warm himself up. A cup of hot chocolate, maybe. Well, when Sneezy the snowman drinks that cup of hot chocolate, he melts into a puddle. So we ask the kids to rebuild it. They bake him again and he's still cold. So he decides to take a dip in the hot tub. Well, when a snowman takes a dip in the hot tub, he melts and evaporates, the steam evaporates into the air. So as you can see, you have that solid, the liquid, the gas, all in this book without it being an actual science book, which makes it perfect to share with your students. Not only will they be laughing along with Sneezy the Snowman and his crazy antics, they'll be learning about the different states of matter. And make sure you head over to the Colorful Apple Book Club. I'll leave a link in the description box down below where you can grab the lesson plan to go along with this. It'll have everything you need, the discussion questions to prompt your students and give them those science vocabulary words, along with some activity sheets a fun craft for them to do, and then some task cards to bring that science concept to life, to pull it out of the book and help them understand those three states of matter. It's so easy. All you need to do is print it and then grab the book and read aloud with your students. So I hope all these books were really helpful for you and that you'll be able to use some of them as read alouds in your classroom when you are introducing the topic of states of matter in science. Not only will they engage your students, but it'll build that curiosity and get them so excited to learn. And you'll be reading aloud more in the classroom, which is always my goal. <laughs> and to help you out, I left all of the links to the books in the description box below, along with the link to the Colorful Apple Book Club membership so that you can grab the lesson to go along with Sneezy the Snowman. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up hit that red subscribe button and make sure you meet me back here next week for a, another video all about using picture book read alouds in your classroom. Have a great week.